We are going to sing Jesus Was Me. Jesus was me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. With two ones to him be one, he are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus was me. Yes, Jesus was me. Yes, Jesus was me. The Bible tells me so. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. He's so good to me. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First King, Second King, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Joseph, Brothers, Ecclesiastes, Daniel, Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Omitasis, Ezekiel, Daniel, Jose, Joel, Apis, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Sephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and the last book, Malachi. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all the time, let it shine. Don't let the devil it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let the devil it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let the devil it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all the time, let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all the time, let it shine, oh yeah. Thank you, God. Thank you for blessings, and please, please have a good day. And please, thank you for the day you give us, and please, please have a good world. And, and inside our world with, with, with sick people, and please, we're going to have a good, and have a good paradise, and don't get sick anymore. And thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. Hello everyone and welcome to Bible class today. I hope you've all had a wonderful week and are, I hope you're here and you're ready to learn more from God's word. Let's start off like we normally do. We're gonna say hello to everyone in the class. So I want you to turn to whoever's in the room, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, anybody, and say, I'm so glad that you're in Bible class today. Are you ready? One, two, three. I'm so glad that you're in Bible class today. Okay, now let's go straight on to our lesson. 
So we're going to stop learning about Isaac and Abraham like we have been the past few weeks. And we're going to move on to a new story. And we're going to learn more about a man named Moses. Can everybody say Moses? Ready? One, two, three. Moses. So we're going to learn about Moses. So let's get started on today's story. Are you ready? Okay. Many, many years ago in ancient Egypt, Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, had great plans for his kingdom. He ordered huge pyramids and temples to the Egyptian gods to be built. But who was going to build them? They didn't have trucks or machines or anything that we have now to build ha houses or buildings. So who was going to build them? How were they going to build them? It was going to be extremely hard work to build the pyramids and to build the temples and everything else Pharaoh wanted built. This question was easy for Pharaoh. The Jewish people were forced to do the work and they worked all day long in the hot sun every single day to build the things that Pharaoh wanted. After several years of the Egyptians ruling the Jewish people, the Pharaoh saw that the population of the Jews was growing very fast. He was worried that there would soon be so many of them that they would rise up against him and fight against him to steal his power. To make sure that didn't happen, he did something terrible. He ordered that if baby boys were born to a Jewish person, they were not allowed to live. A brave Jewish woman had just given birth to a baby boy named Moses. See, there's Moses. Moses' older brother Aaron and his sister Miriam were old enough to be safe from the Pharaoh's orders. But their mom knew that if the Egyptian guards found baby Moses, they would not let him live. His mom knew she had to save her baby, so she wrapped baby Moses in a blanket and she put him in a basket. She put a lid on the basket and ran to a river, praying that the Egyptian guards wouldn't catch her. She carefully set the basket with baby Moses in it in the river and prayed to God that he would protect the baby and find him a place where he could live. The river swept Moses away with a strong current and the basket bobbed up and down in the water. Moses floated past many things in the water. But God watched over baby Moses in his blanket and kept him safe. While baby Moses was floating in the river, his sister Miriam watched in the weeds to make sure that Moses was safe. She followed him throughout his journey, all while watching him in the weeds. Finally, the basket drifted into calmer waters, right next to the Pharaoh's palace. The Pharaoh's daughter had come out to take a bath in the river, when she saw a strange basket floating through the reeds. Curious, she pulled the basket out of the water and opened it, finding a blanket with baby Moses inside. The Pharaoh's daughter wanted to take care of the baby and decided to adopt him as her, as her own child. She showed her son his new baby brother and convinced Pharaoh to accept the baby by telling him it was a gift from the gods although she knew that he was really a baby who wasn't supposed to live. Moses was raised as a prince in the Egyptian palace, never knowing the story of where he came from. God took care of baby Moses and looked after him to keep him safe. Okay, so we talked about baby Moses and how his mom loved him so, so, so much that she wanted to take care of him and make sure that he was going to be safe. So she prayed to God and put him in a basket and put him in the river, hoping that somebody would find him and take care of him. And somebody did. It was Pharaoh's daughter. And he was raised as a prince in the Egyptian palace. And so God took care of him, didn't he? Well, that's our lesson for today, everyone. We learned about baby Moses and how God protected him from getting hurt. God will take care of us just like he take care of Moses, right? Of course, God's always going to take care of us. 
So I hope you all have a wonderful week and we'll be back next week to learn even more. Bye guys.